It's about as good as you've felt all, all uh, since training camp has opened and being around this team. Oh, uh, I guess you could say that, man. Uh, you know, the spirits are definitely high. Uh, we got a good test, you know, coming in my house tonight. So uh, we'll see, you know, how the, how, the, how the flow how the flow goes tonight, man. Uh, trying to trying to stay on course. So, you know, a good uh, pocket the team coming in here. So. It'd be great to just you know see how the, how the team responds to, to a big win. What do you kind of attribute some of the good vibes around this team? Is it chemistry? Is it literally just like kind of seeing you guys turn things around? I mean, what, what, what is kind of like the biggest uh, cog in, in making you guys feel like things are working for you? Well, I mean, we spend a lot of time with each other. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like we just did a hour and a half shoot around almost. Uh, I mean, we just we just spend a lot of time with each other, man. And everyone likes each other, and you know you can definitely. I think seven of the last nine, so everyone's in good spirits. That could always uh, keep the chemistry, uh, chemistry going, training up. How, how fun is it to, to light the beam? And, and just what does that kind of, I don't know, gimmick kind of do for, for you guys in terms of camaraderie, how much fun you're having? I mean, it's great. You know, uh, you know, you always want to have fun. It's something a lot of guys, we look, you know, we've been doing this since we was kids, playing a game of basketball. So if you are, if you, take the fun out of it then that's you know that's no fun obviously so uh, you know you just you always want to have fun you know doing the, doing the things you love and just what, what a lot of guys love to do it's taking you a little bit of time to sort of find your niche with this team do you feel like you're starting to settle in and get well, your spot i mean i just like like i said before i'm i'm here to play basketball man uh as far as finding my niche i am um, wherever you know whatever coach brown whatever the team needs me to do i'm willing to get it done honestly uh if that's playing four minutes playing you know, five or eight minutes or, you know, 25 minutes. Uh, I'm just here to, you know, for, uh, fulfill a role and whatever role it is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to embrace it. Does your mindset change at all coming into this game, given your performance in the last game? Uh, no, it's, it's still, uh, you know, go out and perform the best to your ability. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, you got to, it's a team game, so you, you always got to, you know, do what's best for the team. And that's what I'm, you know, going into this to this game, uh, you know, willing to do. Outside of just kind of knocking down shots last game, yeah. uh, what, do you, what do you feel like you did specifically well that you want to carry over into this Well, game? I just took, I think I took a lot of shots that were in the rhythm of the offense, you know, uh, and those are always great shots. And, and anytime you, you know, you get shots like that, you, you get them lined up, they always, you know, feel pretty good, especially for, for uh, you know, we have a lot of shooters on our team. And, and it always feels good. If you ask Kevin, you ask HP, you know, Malik, like all the guys, man, and, you know, take take shots within the system. You know, more, uh, I would say eight times out of ten, they, they definitely go in there. It's within the flow. So the team, you know, know, know that you about to get the shot up because, uh, you know, that's, that's probably the best shot you'll get within that play. How fun is it that it seems like it's someone different leading the way, every leading the charge kind of every night? It's awesome, man. That's a, that's, that's a team. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a definition of a team. Strong teams, but, um, you know, it's a long year, it's a long season. Uh, got a stretch. You want to just have some, you know, have some guys you can depend on. And we got a lot of guys you can depend on, honestly. So that's always good. How much does your defense spark your offense? Whether it's getting a steal or getting a rebound or making those plays on that side, and then how, how does that impact? Well, you, you know, uh, Mike is he's a defense first coach. So if, if you're not being impactful on that end, uh, you know, he'll let you know it. Not here, but you at the game. So uh, that's 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 really our offense. Cause uh, I mean, anytime you can turn defense to offense, and, you know, score within you know six, seven, seven seconds of the shot clock. That's uh, that kind of demoralizes the team. Uh, I know if you know if it was the other way around, you know, he'll he'll instantly call the timeout. Cause that's that's just you know something uh, you you shouldn't allow to happen. But we we want that to, uh, <laughs> that to happen to the you know to the opposing team all the time. So. Uh, that's 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 basketball, honestly, uh, you know, allowing your defense to you know help you on the other end. I know, guys. I know you guys didn't have practice yesterday, but after the game, Mike said he's still gonna keep riding you guys. He's still gonna be co coaching you hard. Are you, how how are you seeing that in today's walk? I mean, it's it's, it's just there, man. Uh, he's 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 so uh, efficient with what he do and what he wants to accomplish, man. And uh, every day, you know, he, he's on us, even even if it's a uh, if it's a a day, you know, we coming in and shoot, we, we making sure we, we getting up, you know, putting shots and uh, just just doing the things we need to do to, to get better every single day. Back to the possible beam question again. I mean, last night or the other night, you kind of
kind of had an out of body experience, I guess, just <laughs> riling up the fan base there. Just uh, it certainly meant something to you and, and to, to have that moment. Just you guys really kind of have a rallying cry around some of these things. Do you do you look back at that video? What did you it's, see? I mean, it's, it's fun, man. You know, uh, anytime you have um, fans like Sacramento fans, man, some of the lawyer, most loyal fans in, in, a, in the NBA, uh, you know, just just rally around around a team. Uh, it's always, you know, fun and enjoyable. So uh, that's 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 all it is to it. Man. It's, it's just it's a nice thing, you know. Like the beam is the beam is uh, is awesome. Man. It's an awesome way to bring your your team and your your fans together. Did you like that video of yourself? I really didn't. Uh, I didn't. I, I seen it, but I didn't. I didn't watch it. If that makes sense. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, to it. I don't, I, I don't know. All right. Thanks, guys.